be back. Thanks. All right. So I wanted to ask you, uh, we were talking about this before with the kids and elections and how it affects them. But can you talk about if there's what should we be looking out for as parents when we feel like maybe the anxiety is becoming too much for the kids? Yeah, some of the signs that your child may be feeling really anxious about what's going on, if they tend to be more clingy or, um, you know, seeming more distressed or just fearful about things in general, older kids especially may tend to isolate themselves more. So if you notice that they're sticking to themselves more, going to their room more um, than, than is usual for them, that would be something to note. Um, if they're asking a lot of the same questions over and over, particularly uh, younger kids, elementary age kids right now, um, asking repeated questions about safety or are things going to be okay, that kind of repeated questioning can be a sign that they're feeling more anxious as well. So what can we do as parents, especially right now, this week? Maybe you think, oh, I, you know, I didn't go about it <laughs> these past couple of months the right way. What can you do now moving forward? Well, one of the big things to think about, especially as we go through this next 24 hours or a little bit more than that, is to be mindful of how much um, talking uh, kids are hearing about that, how much media exposure they're having, both online, on the TV, things like that. While we as adults want to be staying in, informed and may want to have you know, that kind of uh, media consumption for our kids, it's not going to be great. So we want to make sure that we are not constantly having um, contentious ads and things on in the background or that they're not being exposed to that constantly because they have a hard time understanding the context of that, especially when they're younger. And, and some of that information can be fear and anxiety provoking. So I think sheltering them um, you know, to an appropriate extent from, from media right now uh, is one helpful practical um, step. And then also, you know, when kids are asking those repeated questions about, is everything gonna be okay? What's gonna happen? Are we gonna be all right? There can be a tendency for us as adults to want to dismiss those feelings and say, oh, of course, everything's going to be fine or it's all going to work out. But that can feel dismissive to kids. So instead, when they're expressing anxiety like that, we want to help them focus on the fact that they are going to have the resources and the capability to get through it. So I talk with kids about that as, look, whatever happens, we're going to be able to handle it. And that's a really um, subtle but important difference in helping them be able to manage that, to know that, look, things don't always work out the way we want. There can be problems and challenges in life, but we're going to be able to get through it. And that, that's an important um, way of communicating about that that helps kids build resilience and reduce anxiety. All right, very good. Dr. Perkins, where can people reach you if they need some help? Horizonsdrc.com is the best place to go to learn more about our clinic and to get support. All right. Thank you so much. We always appreciate chatting with you. Thanks for having me back.